Hello balloon artists. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas wreath. Take two 260s, fully inflated, and you want to make sure they're the same kind of length. If one is a little bit shorter than the other, just give it a bit of a squeeze and a stretch uh, to um, make it a similar kind of length. Twist off a bubble at the beginning of each balloon and just wrap those together. And we're going to candy cane these two balloons. So you're just going to wrap the two balloons together. We want a fairly tight spiral, um, but the important thing is that it's an even spiral. Okay. And then if you get to the end of your balloons, just twist off two more smallish bubbles. Okay? And there's your candy cane spiral. So bring the two ends together and just wrap those bubbles around one another. Okay? So that's what you've got. Next, you're going to need a couple of 160s fully inflated and just wrap the 160 in the, uh, those bubbles and then you're just going to follow this channel around. This is how I do it. Some people do it differently. And you can um, twist everything together at the beginning and then form a chain. Uh, but I sometimes find that the uh, wreath spiral, you lose the spiral a little bit. Uh, at least that's what's ha happened with me some, or has happened with me sometimes. So I just prefer to do it this way. So wrap the next 160 in there. Okay. And again, you're following this channel here between the two 260s. tip here because I want to be able to tie a five inch round onto the end. So tie that off and put that to one side. Next take a 321. Take a 321 and push it far down onto your hand pump. Here. Okay, I'm just going to roll up the, the um, neck of the balloon to about there. Okay, I'm now going to twist off the amount of balloon I want for my Santa's beard, which is about that much. About that much, I would say. And then with the rest, I'm going to make two pinch twists. Tip of the hat. 
and you can trim off the nozzle. Next, take the tip of a 260, pink or blush, work well, and then just wrap that around the pinch twists. Okay. And when that's secured, you can trim off the end if, you're, if the excess is a little bit too much. Okay, take a 160 white and just, just going to make a little bit of trim for the hat. Okay, so just twist off the bubble. Break this off. And tie. You want to wrap the end into the pinch twist here. Make a loop. So I'm going to make some whiskers for Santa. I don't want to make them too long. So I reckon about that much. So maybe six or seven inches or so. So twist off that bubble. And then wrap that into the pink nose. Okay. Do not worry if everything um, moves around because it really does with this design until you put it onto the uh, wreath. Okay? So just massage those down a little bit and then make another bubble to match this one. Put it into the nose. to go on this side of the wreath so he goes around this way. So I'm just going to take a um, 160 wreath and wrap the middle of it around this pink twist at the back. And then I'm just going to feed the tails of that 160 underneath the lime green 160s. Okay. I'm just going to tie on out the back. Next we're going to make a little bit of holly for the wreath. So go a 160 in green. I'm using spring green and I'm making Five little loops of about three to four fingers. So make three of those. Okay. And then make a small bubble. And make three more loops, just very slightly bigger than the first ones. Holly. 
Next, I'm going to make a little bow. So take a red 160 and twist off a bobble of about six fingers or so. And then make a loop. So we don't want the loop to be too big, perhaps a hand span. And then make another loop to match. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes harder said than easier said than done. Okay. And then twist off a little bubble. square off your um, bow. I'm not going to quite like um, the curves for this design. Just tie that off and then trim off the nozzle and knot. Okay, and I'm going to position this at the bottom of the wreath. So I'm going to find my two nicest bubbles. Um, these ones I'm going to pinch twist. And I'm just going to take those tails and wrap them in. Just to tie them up a little bit. I like how that's ended up, quite by chance, and I'm going to sit my bow on the top of uh, that cluster and then I'm going to arrange everything. So just wrap your 160 in there. If you want, you can put a stabilising pinch twist at the back, but sometimes when you're um, putting the bow onto an arrange, a wreath like this, sometimes you wish you hadn't got it. Um, it, can, it can get in the way. So it just depends on your preference. If you prefer to do it, then do so. Okay, and then I'm just going to take that 160 up in there and then back through. And then Just wrap this 160 around and just tie it around the 160 line and that's just going to keep um, the top part of Santa's hat in position. I really hope you've enjoyed this Christmas wreath tutorial. Remember to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. The longer tutorials I publish on Tuesdays and you will have probably gathered that I'm starting to experiment a little bit with different formats. So let me know what you think of the portrait uh, mode. Is that working for you? Are you watching on your phone or are you watching on your desktop? Is it easier for you to watch this way? Uh, let me know and uh, check out my balloon shorts. So I've published a few short videos. I've just got so many ideas and so many designs. I'm not going to be able to uh, find the time to, to film them all. So some of the smaller things, I'm making short tutorials and that's a way to uh, share some of the, those designs and tutorials with you without it uh, causing me a huge amount of work. So uh, do check out my balloon shorts and I'll see you again in the next video.